Is this thing gonna blow up? Ah. Yeah. Okay. So, resume expedition. So, in today's episode, we might just complete the game. I have a list of uh, things that I haven't done yet. We're going to go and see what there is to find. One thing I do want to do is I just want to go and check if the dude is actually in the stranger. So the list of things we're going to do, we're going to do the hanging city, because there's more to do there, escape pod one, the quantum shard, however I get there, I don't actually know. Um, launch module, lunar ruins, construction yard, feldspar, hollows to timber hearth, and dark bramble. So first we're gonna go to the stranger, and we I just want to see if if the guy is like in the normal world again, you know. If not, we'll just leave, no problem. Why can't I lock onto it? Okay. There we go. <laughs> Outer wilds more like inner not wilds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got him. Damn. You got me, bro. Well, what what the, can I say? Jeez. Jeez. Oh. Oh. I rolled too far. Damn. You, you really did get me, bro. Ah, how you doing? When you're not making shit jokes. <gasps> Wait. I don't. Oh. Oh fuck! Aha! Uh -huh. That would be uh, a bad start. Right, let's see if this dude is underwater. So this could be the the day we complete this game. Maybe. So I just want to see if he's here or if there's anything in his little. In here, you know. Anything? Up we go. Dude, yeah? What? This is still here. Yeah, those are a banger. Don't even don't even chat shit about my fish and chips. Nah. I'm not entirely sure what bussin means, but I gotta presume that means like good. And uh, they were, indeed. Ah, mushy peas are so good. Mushy peas are an absolute banger. Mushy peas with curry sauce. Oh boy. That's the good stuff. Right, so we're gonna go to the launch module. One of the launch orbital pro camera three module. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There's a huge breach in the glass suit port. <gasps> okay, so that means I can hop in it. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this to come round. Cause this planet has a fuck ton of gravity. Right, I need to get on this somehow. Okay. There we go. Can I get in through here? Oh, I can. She. I'm in. Okay. So this place is destroyed as fuck. What about through here? Is there anything? Is there anything even in here? That's. Oh yeah, there is. It's just on the ground. But there we go. There's still gravity. Oh, nice. Okay. Probe tracking module projection still. Oh, this is in the... The... Would you show us where the best chip shop is? Yeah, if you come here. I mean, best fish shop near here anyway. 
I don't know the best one in general. Probably somewhere in London, though. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honoured and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the tracking module is destroyed. Okay. Whoa, what the fuck? There's one floating. Hello? Control module. So this is... In here. Okay. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon's components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and am I right to think that co consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have acquainted for our nature, so I suggest we do. Given the orbital pro cannon, all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can, I'll make some adjustments. Okay. Is there anything else? Anything else in here? I don't think so, right? Everything else is destroyed. Okay. Oh, fuck. Where's my sh- Oh, no. Uh-oh. My ship is... Coming at me very quickly. <laughs> it's okay. We did it. Ta-da. Okay, so we've done the launch module. What's this? The Nomai text in the observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Atle Rock. Okay, so I've got to go to the Atle Rock uh, and the construction. I'll, I'll go to the Atle Rock first. I think it's the moon to this place. Yeah, it is. Oh, some autopilot this is, huh? Oh wait, what's that red thing? No! No! There's no damage systems, I don't know what you're on about. Okay, maybe there's some damage systems. I'll land eventually. Whoa, okay. I think I found it. This looks very sus. Okay, let's hop on out. Hop on out the whip. What's damaged? It's lying! Nothing is damaged. Oh, wait, there we go. Oh, 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 land. Oh, oh, fuck. There we go. Perfect. Now, what the hell is all this? Oh! Play recording. Shirt's research note. Property of shirt. This is an old crater. The neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the competition, composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit the Atle Rock was hit with a piece of, uh, of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are some fragments of the old planet Dark Bramble destroyed on other astral bodies in our solar system. Okay. Well, that still doesn't answer... What is connected? So, first up, I'm gonna go across the equator. What is this? There's a flag, okay. So, first up, I'm gonna go across the equator. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, this is another ship. Is there anything in it, though? Oh, no, I can't get in it. This looks like an old, old ship, though. So, I will keep going across the 
across here. So this is the old dude. Maybe I've got to line someone up in his house? Nope. I don't think so. Uh, oh, this is for finding them, right? Oh. Wait, that's Dark Bramble, is it? Yeah, it is. So there's a dude in Dark Bramble. Ryback, Gabro. Oh, I still haven't got the dude on that place yet. On Timber Hearth. Okay, let's keep searching. Okay, this was the... This hasn't got anything to do with connecting it, has it? Is there like a hole that goes somewhere? I can't find my hole. I don't think there is. To be honest. Okay, so let's check the uh, south pole. Whoa. Oh, okay, what's this? Ow. Okay. Okay, so that's because the star keeps moving. That we know. What about when I put it in here? It aligns with where? What's this? Oh, it aligns with the sun. Oh, the sun station. Okay, maybe this is just meant to be for like clues. I've already done all these, so. This will then focus on Jupiter. Uh, Giants, the hollow, or whatever the fuck it's called. Does it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's see what's down here then. Aha! I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun, giant's deep and brittle hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye signal. The device indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. I see I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice and I will make adjustments and try again. Disappointingly, everything is correctly collaborated. After all, sad to make post this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye signal. We need to build a more se sensitive device if we want to locate it. Then we will build it. Don't lose hope. Kasaba, our search for the eyes will brought us our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. So it did. And we found out that it did because the um, the guys just shut it down. They, they captured it basically and stopped it producing a signal. So the guys on the stranger actually ended up killing these guys. Otherwise they would have found it way before. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. Anona and those of the originally stranded on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. Wouldn't recommend building it on that planet. The southern glacier and brittle hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Conoy would enjoy that immensely. He's always held a great interest in, interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. It will begin construction on Brittle Hollow South Pole immediately then. What's this? Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other traveler's pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, and um, time some official notes. So this is some kind of know my locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool. By the way, but from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it's built to try and find something specific. I'm not sure I also was able to translate something about the South Pole at Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Okay. So we already know why. It's because the eye is quantum, so it's moving about consistently. Oh, 
Okay, I did this already. From here I can hear them. But... How many are left? So I've got shit. So there's an unknown, Gavro, Ryback. Okay, so I just need to go back to Timber Hearth. Go back to my ship. Fill up on stuff. Ah, I wish I knew why some of them are white. Why are you white? I'm just gonna go to Timber Hearth and find the the signal. So Okay. Oh. Oh, it's coming from Dark Ramble. Okay. So we did. Do we do it Escape Pod 1? Let's go to Escape Pod 1, the vessel. I don't want to do the vessel yet, though. Tower of Quantum Knowledge, maybe. Or the Construction Yard. Uh, let's do the Construction Yard, I guess. What is there to do here? This island is on a level. According to the number computer, long range probe was recently launched from the orbital. There's more to explore, though. So let's go have a look what more there is to explore there. Because we can't really do the Quantum one until it falls through. So we're going to go do this one for now. And then. Once we've done it, we can go and do the quantum um, tower. I presume the issue with uh, the quantum tower is the little rock or the projection place. But I didn't have a rock for it, so, so I don't know what to do. I don't know what else there, were, there is on this construction yard, though. I could have swore we'd done pretty much everything here, but clearly not. Is there anything around here? No, nothing around here. Hmm. Oh, is it just this? Have I missed this before? I don't remember a scroll being on the floor, so maybe I did. This is it. We finished building the final Ultra Pro kind of module and ready to. So, blah, 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 blah. I think we have. Hmm. Either way, they're very dead. Uh, what else is there possibly to explore? Maybe. Something down here, maybe? I swear, there's nothing else for me to actually do here. Uh oh. I forgot the gravity is ridiculous on this planet. Nah, so I did this already. It's a brittle hollow projection stone. What else is there to do with this construction yard? I don't think there's anything. But it saves there's more to find, so did I just not fully read something? Or is it something around the side or Hmm I am very confused. Let me go and get my ship. I'll look in the ship again. Like, we're just trying to get 100%. I'm so close to it. There's more to explore here. I am so confused. Like, what could there possibly be left for me to get here? Bring that back! Oh, 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 oh. 
It's got something to do with... This tree, maybe? I have no idea. Well, goodbye. Ah! It doesn't give me any hints either. It just says that there's more to explore, but what is the more? I'm, th I'm half tempted to say, should I just finish the game? But I feel like, uh... I should 100% it. And I don't know if ending the game is going to ruin my one to hundred percent, you know. And it's whether Nomai built the orbital probe cannon. There's more to explore. There is not. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. I I want to know why. Why some of them are white. I can't work it out. Because I don't know if they're white because I haven't completed them fully. Or if they're just meant to be white because they're not main story or... I have no idea. I'm gonna try once more to have a look at the construction yard. Uh oh, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot, coming in hot. Well, hey! The construction yard is on the other side of the planet. Like, there's usually how many entries per one? Felspar headed off to the Dark Bramble after reaching the Core of Giant's Deep. When I launched my scout into the sea, the crashing into the that ends up in a much bigger space, filled with fog and thorny vines. So this is where they built it, and recently there was one fired, but... There's got to be something else. Is there another scroll somewhere? Hmm. Is it maybe underwater somewhere? No. Okay, so there's nothing behind here. Oh, wait, maybe. Those... No, the scrolls... I'm so confused. I am so confused. Maybe I've got to fly my ship again. This is so confusing. What is this last log? This fucking tornado, man. Bring it back! Bring my construction yard back! Okay. I might give up on this log. Oh, shit. This tree looks kind of sus. Okay, okay, okay. I'll fix the ship. Just stop. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. Jeez. <sighs> okay, I, I might just give up on this log. This one is, I have bad news, Avon Jara says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. I wish I were my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on a definite. They should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Update Mallow and I will join you and Dad's private left to visit her brother. She fears idea may be responsible. Oh, wait, is that. Oh, that was the last one. Why didn't I put that in before? What am I doing? Thing is, I already pretty much know my grade. Only need to flip percent in both modules to get first. Yeah, be fine. Like, you'll get it. Like, you, you need to tell them that on the phone. Oh, fuck. Need to tell them that on the phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep. 
in this one, and then I'll do Hanging City. Oh, do I just finish the game? Oh, excuse me, I got hiccups. So it's 22 minutes in total. So if I go to maybe about 12 minutes. Okay, so this is done. Feldspar, okay. All of ju all of that is done. So Ah, of course I don't mind. At the end of the day, it's part of my Oh wait, hold on, where's the black hole? I'll just go to Brittle Hollow and go in. At the end of the day, it's part of my responsibility to make sure that you guys uh Oh, hold on, one sec. Oh, hold that thought. Mayday, mayday. Oh, what the fuck is broken? It's okay, it's okay. Don't, don't worry. Uh, is this thing gonna blow up? I think what I am going to do is the first place I'm going to go to is Escape Pod 1. And then uh, from there, the entire place will start breaking, stuff like that, and I can go to the Hanging City, hopefully. Whoa! Whoopsie! We go in. Escape pod one is down there. Oh, it's on the outside. Whoops. This hasn't been destroyed enough yet. Oh wait, I could have sworn I'd done this escape pod. Oh, have I got it? So distress beacon. Oh. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods distress signals. However, if it's any comfort, both pods must be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude, if we can, thatch the moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourself swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. This planet doesn't appear eager to have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter and quickly. The volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observe several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build some platforms. So that's that one done. What people don't realize is degrees just don't set people up in the industry. <clears throat> Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. So, you know, no degree really sets people up. So if you want something, you have to go and get it. Nobody's going to give it to you. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though this area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than anything we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. Okay. Oh. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we recall about the, uh, the signal we encounter while aboard the vessel. The signal was older than the universe itself. This is the most significant detail. Don't know my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find the eye of the universe. The signal looks like an eye, round with a circle in the center, much like a pupil. Suppose the signal was looking at something. Okay, like university is a big test. It's a test to see, can you learn? The answer is either yes or no. There's not really any in between. You don't get like points for, for trying, you know? Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Mallory. So they sent a signal to the ship the ship got caught by Dark Bramble, 
and now it's stuck with in dark bramble. Can't understand why did the vessel crash in that place be warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. Suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in escape pod 3. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No, no, no. And I checked before the warp and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Which means something caused it. Is this where I literally came down from? No, it isn't. The pain of your absence is sharp and haunting. I would give anything to know it. Anything but never knowing all which would be worse. I can only hope that you are safe, Keek, wherever you are. Not good. He died, I think. I haven't seen a Keek on any of these before so I think that means he is he's toast he is done for bless him rest in peace my boy Keek is there anything around here no can I go up yeah I can oh hey we can hear the other escape pods distress signals which gives me hope Fully, are you still here? I am unsure how to survive in this place without you. I am unsure how to be me without you. Oh god, this is... Jesus. This is getting a little bit dark, isn't it? Oh god. These guys really did just... Get shafted a little bit, didn't they? So, is the quantum tower gone? I think the quantum tower is gone, right? Okay, so if it's gone... I can go back to my ship. Oh, shit. Nah, my ship's gone. Well, off we go. I hope the tower is gone already. It's not, it's there. Fuck. That's very sad. Maybe I can just search around here, though. Oh wait, is that it? Okay, escape pod 3. One of three of my escape pods never made it out of Dark Bramble. Okay. The Hanging City still has more. I don't really know where it is, I'm going to be honest. So I think I'm just going to go and do Dark Bramble. Even though I won't get 100% uh, the game. Like some of these things are just... So Feldspar's in there. Hanging City there. Escape Pod 3 is in there. Quantum Shard. This is all I was here for. Is this Quantum Shard. I might, since I've waited this long, I might just wait just a little bit for it. Because it's one of the only things I, I have left. The Hanging City does still have something in it, but... Am I going to be gutted if I do everything and then just don't finish this last bit? What's the sun? The sun is getting smaller. <clears throat> Which means the tower should be coming soon. It should be coming out any minute, surely. The interloper zooming past. Wait, is the interloper gonna smash through all this? No. It has to do with the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. It literally says, actually. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm debating. I know my note is a strange rock thing that appeared to wander when nobody was watching. Which is in the tower. But when is the tower going to come through? Oh. oh, oh shit. Oh, 
Okay. I'm only gonna do the reactor for now. Because I'm the loop's gonna reset and it like soon. I'm just waiting for the Tower of Quantum Knowledge to come out of this hole. So that I can get this shard, but the sun is getting awfully hot. I'm just looking for the tower, man. Then I can maybe go and have a look at the rest of the hanging city. Reset the loop, do dark bramble. Maybe complete the game. Is that the tower? That's the tower! Yes! Okay, so in here somewhere? Must be. If I didn't check this area last time, because I didn't have time. I think I've done this. That's the moon. Oh! What's that? Is the little rock here anywhere? I don't think so, right? There's no rock here. So let's try this. See if this tells me something different. Not sure I got it last time. Oh, here we go. Well, yeah. Hey, welcome back, my dude. What food did you make? If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you're always prepared to set on the steepest significant journey. Before you do, pause and remember your history. We'll make the journey not only for ourselves, but also for the honor members of the clan who came before. Those who, after the crash, the brought us then uh, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and in between, with no communication between two groups. So, these nomads looked up from different planets and saw the same wandering of the moon. Okay. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. This took time, and many nomads who dreamed of seeing the quantum moon died. When you reach the quantum room, recall these normal and carry the courier. Yes. Okay, shit. I need the rock for this area, but I think it's on Brittle Hollow, though. Yeah, it's on Brittle Hollow. I guess we just don't complete this bit. <laughs> like, although I want 100% this game, don't get me wrong. Like, finding that is a little bit awkward. Boom! Well, see ya. Okay. I think we're gonna get into the ending. So if you plan on watching this on YouTube at a later point, this might ruin it for you. But, who knows? And see you. What? So let's go. Um, do we have a little look in the hanging city again? Maybe we'll have just a just a dabble, you know, just a just a slight dabble in the hanging city once more. Because uh, I don't know what else there is to do. I've got a checklist though, so we're gonna we're gonna update our little checklist. So the hanging city. Done the old settlement. So I need to go back to that hanging city and have a look. The quantum shard, I think I'm gonna leave, to be honest. So, what is on my list of things to do? So, hanging city, still not done. Escape pod one, have I done that? Escape pod one is completed. 
Launch module is completed. Lunar construction yard completed. Lunar ruins. <clears throat> uh, where's the lunar ruins? I think they're done, right? I can't find. I can't remember where lunar ruins even were. Okay, they must be done, but I just can't find them anywhere. Lunar ruins, quantum shard. I don't know. Hollows lantern, timber hearth. So let's uh, let's go have a look on Hollows lantern actually. Let's see if there's anything on there of value. Where art thou? There we go. So. I don't know if Hollow's Lantern shows up anywhere. But yeah, this. I swear I've already done that. I'm gonna go on M like the Ember Planet again. I swear that's the thing I've already done. For now I'm gonna have a look if there's anything on this moon that I can actually do. I think the answer is no, to be honest. Can I go down in there? No. Okay. I think Hollow's Lantern's just meant to be a volcano. Nothing in there. Oh, shit. Whoa! No, so there's nothing on Hollow's Lantern. Timber Hearth, I think I've done everything for. I think the only thing left to do is a little bit more of the Hanging City. We'll go check that Quantum Shard again, because I remember what it is, but I don't know why it's not showing in there. Um, so it's on the Ember Twin, it's on the red one, so I can actually get to it now. Because it's saying, how much Bitcoin do I have? None, my dude. I don't waste money like that. Like, that's a surefire way to lose all your money. Oh fuck, okay, this autopilot sucks ass. The annoying thing is, I've done the quantum shard. So I don't know why it isn't showing. But I think I can get to it quite easy if I find the escape pod. Actually, I'll just go in this way. I know it 100% gets me to it. Just in case, you know, I don't want to risk it. I just want to get there, get it ticked off. Okay, so this isn't the quantum area, this is just the the way with the normal route. Like this. And this. So it's in here. This is the. Oh! There we go. So. Turn the light off. Hey! Thanks, my dude. Appreciate that. I'm just trying to um, find what I'm missing from this area because I did this entire area already and it's still showing in my ship log that it hasn't been done. I'm not missing anything. 
Like, I want to hundred percent it. <laughs> oh, maybe it's down here. I can't remember if I did this. Oh, well, that was close. Um, so, the, it shows that the quantum shard in the top left by the quantum thingy doesn't, um, like I haven't actually finished the game yet. I wanted to kind of get 100% before I finish the game, because I feel like that just makes sense. But, I don't know, I think I might just give up going for 100%, and I might just finish it because the only place I really need to go is Dark Bramble I've done everything including like the DLC and stuff like that so see in my logs see I've still got this nah I'm not gonna bother that much uh, I, I want to just enjoy the game you know see the gnome I noticed a strange rock shard that appeared to wander when nobody was watching but it shows it here uh, yeah, that's what I thought, but I thought the quantum shard was here. I don't even know which planet this is on. Signal scope to find all of the shards. I haven't, no. Wait, that's a thing? Oh. So what I need to do is use this on the shard, is it? Whoops. I didn't want to go this way again, but... Oh, wait, I have to. There we go. I made it. Well, so if I use this on the shard, it gives me info, is it? Oh, quantum fluctuations. Is that the one I need to do? So I've got that one. So let me go back up and see if I can find another one. Okay, so that's a quantum moon. Cave shard. Oh, unknown. Okay, it's on there. Oh, sick. Thank you, my dude. I appreciate that. I might just do this quantum shard bit, and then I've got Hanging City. So what have I got? I've got... I've got quantum shard. I've got something else in the Hanging City. And then... I am fully complete. I think the only thing I need then is Dark Bramble. So, he... Oh no. Oh, it wasn't on this planet. It was just... Through the planet. Was it? Oh, so it was actually on here. Okay, so it was. 
Whoops. Oh, there's one. This is the one. Okay. Now there's one down here. Okay. So I've done the Grove Shard and the other one. So I think that's both of them. Yeah? Oh shit. Oh no, I didn't mean to go down here. I've already done this. Okay. I'm gonna restart. There's one more unknown. If I can get like 99% done today and explore Bramble Hollow, then I can make a run for the end in the next episode. That could be pretty cool. Like this shard, the shard for quantum entanglement, right, is on this planet. This is on the planet, so I'm like, oh, it's got to do something with it, no? Am I missing something? I have talked to shit. What this? This isn't the entanglement one. So if I signal scope. That's the cave shard. There was one more unknown, I swear. Yeah, unknown. Yeah, it's there, okay. So it's on Brittle Hollow. Which would make sense because the the actual thing I'm looking for was on Brittle Hollow, right? I guess it's in like the Hanging City. And that would explain what I have left to search in the Hanging City, I suppose. Wait. I could have swore I'd done this one already. Now see. Yeah, I I swear I have. Uh yeah, I've I've read this for sure. Maybe fate lies total cons knowledge, right now. Yeah. Oh! I have not seen this before. I have not seen this, actually. Plume Felix and I have determined this typical shadow rock is the reason objects in the grove are behaving in a quantum manner. The only other object we've observed displaying the quantum behaviour is the wandering moon. I imagine the moon's behaviour and the scrolls are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentioned this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere in Brittle Hollow, but if it's originally not isn't originally from this planet. Hypothesis is quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Of note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal. This shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. 
Okay, nice. I didn't even notice this. Yeah, I didn't actually... I've never seen that before, to be fair. I thought it was just one of the thin rocks that were going. Nice. Okay. So, Hanging City. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful example. So, now all I have to do is go to this location? I guess? And then we can go and explore Dark Pramble and maybe end the game. So, where's my little cheat area? Oh, gravity cannon. Where are you? Hello? It's the heart. Right, so this is this is our little cheat for getting in, okay? We, we go like this, and we we go like this. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a bit on the edge. Right, so, I hope this is um, the only area that I need to come to. There's something more to explore, but what? Maybe going down? Might help us a little bit. Or maybe there was some ghost matter that we didn't know how to deal with at the time. That we can now deal with. I'm gonna probably bet that that's more than likely what there is left to explore. What's this? I feel strange trying to recreate Anna's Wolf Call without him at times. I feel strange to have the chance to try his thrilling, but actually, I think I've read this. Yeah, I've read this. Otherwise, it'll come up with ship log updated, right? It's our left. Oh no, is this just gonna take me out? It is, isn't it? This is just how I get down here. From the surface. Yeah, whoops. So, maybe I have to go deeper. Hmm. Because this is the only thing left for me. Once I've done this log, this singular log, I am ready to complete the game. Which is crazy, because this game has been so much fun. Like, so much fun. We've got a lot of game time out of this, I'm not going to lie. It's been very, very good. This was an excellent suggestion by Mr. Riv himself. It's got to just be something down here. Aha, yes, there we go. So, I think I died when I came down here. Is there anything on the walls? Any writing on the walls? Nothing. Okay, nothing. Okay. This is the Hanging City, so... Maybe it is up here. Ah, 
Okay, I haven't actually been here before, so... Aha! Is this the final... The final piece of the Hanging City? Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the festival. We can't go because we're stuck here, but Felix says we used to go too. At some festivals, one clan's biggest... One clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance too, like a known as Warp Core which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. Don't forget, festivals happen every 10 years. What does this scroll say? Whoa, why is the stream so laggy? Whoa! That's weird. Sorry about uh sorry about that. I've only just noticed it. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and dense, tightly packed together. As this early universe expanded, it also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together to form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Kanoi tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. Come on, shit log, ship log updated. Come on. No. And. Oh, so there's more. Okay, maybe something is up there. Ah, hmm. Oh, what's this? What's up here? I just need one log. Maybe. Oh no. Hmm. Do, 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 do. It's a singular log and it's delaying me from actually doing Dark Bramble. Backhole Forge, Ice Shrine, Meltwater, School. Hmm. So I'm at this bit right now, which is the school district. So maybe I go up to Meltwater. Maybe have a look here. Maybe this has got some some answers, so the Meltwater, I think, is only for the Black Forge controls. So I've read all these already. I'm just going to do them just for the sake of it. I don't think there's anything else. The thing is, obviously this makes for a slightly more boring YouTube video. I will be honest. I presume most people that are going to be watching this are going to be people that have already completed the game since with this game, I don't know what it is towards the end, but everybody is crazy about um, the ending of this game. The amount of people that have come into stream while I've been playing this that have never been in stream before just because they think this game is a masterpiece is mind-blowing. It's crazy. So I'm searching this place up and down for like a little, a, a, a crumb of information. So I'll go up to the next level, which is the Ice Shrine District. 
It has to be here. This is the only place that more information can possibly be. But I don't remember this area, so that is a good sign. And my fuel is low. Which is not a good sign, but... If we can just find the last sprinkle of information on this fuel, then that will save us. Ah, <gasps> no! Ah, oh, that's so sad. That's the only place the last bit of information can be, which is my last log. Because everything else is in Dark Bramble, I'm fairly certain. So, if we can do this by this episode, then, then I'll be happy, you know. <laughs> Damn, this game. Oh, oh, come on. Man, autopilot is so shit. Like, it's actually garbage. I'm just going to fly myself. Fuck it. So... I need to find that big staircase. There we go. That's what I need. This. So that I can run up to the third district. And then go over here. Don't fall off this time. Aha, there. There's more information. I can see it. Nothing here, no. Okay, there we go. I thought I was going to fall then. I nearly cried. What is the eye of the universe? The eye is older than the universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? It, suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. The early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. The universe is older than previously assumed. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't know yet. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal, we are able to determine the eye's approximate age or perhaps the lack of age. Be welcomed in this place to shrine as a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. How do I enter? Ship log updated. Nice. So, that means the hanging city is complete. So, I'll meditate until the next loop. And then I think we'll finish this up by going and finding Feldspar. We can just use the, uh, the signal locator thing to find him. And then all we have to do is get to the vessel. Work out how that works. Or maybe we'll have a look at the vessel this time. And then maybe in the next one we will take the warp core. Because I presume the warp core needs to go to the vessel. I'm not entirely sure. But I don't want to pull the warp core out yet because it'll break the loop. And I don't know what happens with the save if that happens. So, ta -da. Let's go have a little look in Dark Bramble then. Let's go and find Mr. Feldspar. Okay. Autopilot oh, there. Okay, don't autopilot oh, there because flying us into the sun.
Is he inside there? He is, right? He's in it. I come to save you, buddy. Right, so these fish can't won't eat me if I make very little noise. Basically, so just keep tapping it. Tippy tap, 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 tap. How the fuck do I get in this? I don't think I can, right? Okay. So have I got to fire this in there and then follow, follow it? I mean, oh, oh, okay, found him. Nice, I found him. Hey buddy, how you doing in here? Whoa, where'd you come from? No one's coming here well ever actually. That means you, the second half the to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me of course, well done. Say it's you, they made you an astronaut and you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you, Feldspar, you're alive. You never wear the brightest hatchling, were you? He's a kid. Yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, oh, you know, crashed violently. Oh, this is a good story. I just finished exploring the core of Giant Steep and needed a new challenge and none of us had ever been inside Dark Bramble. So I think, hey, let's give that a try. I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the old massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorns. When I run into this huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen, I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off. Nothing too fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me and knocks me into the vine. And, well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside. And I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly. So I have to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I can't down near where I crashed at first. Found the skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid enough to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seed. Been here ever since. Wow. Anyway, that's how it all went down. Hash, thanks. Story's over. Free, feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a while. Oh, don't. Fire's not going anywhere. I found something. I went to the core of the giant's deep. You found out the tornado trick. I found the bit by out by accident, but let's keep that between you and me. Hey, hey, I found that out by accident as well. What the hell? Ormfels would have me have me very handsome head if they knew I'd been riding the cyclones again. The ship is fragile, it can break. You can't subject it to extreme conditions. Not like I was flying the thing into the sun now, was it? And the jellyfish, you figured out that was too hatchling. I tell you what, you've done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, sure, but you might just become a pilot yet. 
That's the spirit anywhere good, but you should know the space is weird instantly. Ever try throwing your scout into one of these weird seeds? See there with a the little opening, it's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you the scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, you see, but inside it's bigger, much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside than those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind. Good luck. Okay. Okay. So, what I want to do now is I just want to find the vessel. Just so I can take a look at it before we end up. Oh. There's more to explore here. What else could be here to explore? What else is there at this camp to explore? Unknown? Oh. Is that it? Is it because I didn't scan him? No, there's still more. What else could there be? I low key want to cheat for this last log. Have I just got to ask him more things? Maybe I do. <sighs> well, yeah, sure, whenever you have the time. Frankly, I quite like it out here. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best it ever was. Nice to have a break. Oh, ship log updated. Oh, the skeleton, it was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eating a seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish stomach until this happened. Grosser, skeleton was a good find. Keep the fish away. See, they're territorial. So they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Not far from here, as a matter of fact, if you go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton, you see a flickering light in the fog. Follow that and you'll find my old ship. What's left of it, anyway? On a completely unrelated note, that was sure a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yep. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flicker of light in the fog? That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. Okay. So there is more. Okay. So what's this ship? Oh, so there's nothing I can do here. On the ship. He said the path starts there. Is this the path? Let's just go. Okay. Oh, this tells me about the jellyfish. Trip four, entry, hashtag, gonna say not one, crashes three, boring crashes zero, personal best. Woohoo, never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. This thing tastes terrible, the outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish inside from getting zapped by the electricity. Right, I'm going inside the jellyfish interior cavity to see 
if what's in it tastes any better. Note to Feldspar, do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulating from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Oh, he's leaving notes for himself. Huh, he's lost his mind, I guess. Okay, so, damn, I really did get lucky then. Because I suppose what you're supposed to do from here now is you're supposed to take uh, this... Um, information and use it to get inside Giant's Deep which when you get inside Giant's Deep you end up um, um, oh and then this is straight down to your ship okay I think I've done everything so I'm gonna find the vessel just so I know what I need to do in the next episode and then the next one, we will 100% complete this game. So yeah, so I, su I suppose the what you're meant to do now is he's giving you information about the tornadoes. You're meant to go back to Giant's Deep, do the tornado trick, um, and then use the jellyfish to go underneath Giant's Deep because you tricked him into telling you with the first line, basically. So now, Feldspar's log... Fingers crossed it's done. Please. Nice. Okay. Sick. So, escape pod 3 we need to find. And the vessel. Okay, so I just want to find the escape pod actually. So, distress beacon, deep space radio. Okay. It's on autopilot. So I assume now. Just keep tapping it in. Keep tapping it. I don't want to go too quick. Because if I do, they'll definitely come and eat me. And I don't want that. Okay. I don't know what that red one is, but... Okay. Escape pod. Okay, so escape pod three found. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communications capabilities in the process. We've held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance of survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or more probably await rescue. Seka, is this is the message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It'll be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Okay. So what's this? Escape pod 3, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from the vessel. Now launching escape pod 3. Multiple collisions have alerted pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pod detected. Navigational error, life support error, propulsion error. 
Scanning, external, environment, scan complete, gravity not detected, breathable air not detected, multiple life forms detected, potentially hostile, do not exit the pod. I mean, I guess they had to though, right? There is a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel, but it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other, perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, then. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacons. The beacon whose source is nearest to us, but suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the further of the two beacons, then. The decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. There's still a chance someone could hear our escape pod distress signals. Emergency escape hatch. Okay. I just gotta follow these lights. Oh no, here they are all dead. Oh no. To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint here now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single nomad to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seems able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far, difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying, soon we will be unable to hear it. There is nothing we can do now, but try to perhaps find a way inside, or at least attempt to comprehend why this happened. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. Damn. So I guess what I need to do now is fire that through there, and yet there's the vessel. Damn, they all died, man. It's kind of sad. Oh, there's another. Oh no, it's because I touched it. Okay, let's go find the vessel, have a look, and then we'll call it a day. Just so that I know what I actually need to do uh, for the next episode. And then yeah, but damn, they're all dead. Shit. So I've got to be even quieter than that. Okay, we'll leave that there. Next episode, we'll go and have a a look at the vessel. Um, find out how, how we actually get through there. Because the thing is, I presume in that area, is I have to take the warp core. But I don't want to take the warp core if it's that easy to die. So let's just check the ship log. Let's just confirm that we've done everything. Just before we wrap the the episode up. And then, yeah, next one we will for sure complete the game. Yeah, escape pod 3, no my grove. Okay. So, thanks for everybody that was in stream and for those watching on YouTube. Yeah. We are going to finish the game in the next episode, so that's kind of cool. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.